Hello guys, this is Ali Silanki and today in this video, we'll be talking about MetaMask. Now, what is MetaMask wallet? How to set up the MetaMask wallet? How to add new networks on it? Uh, so basically on MetaMask, you just have uh, Ethereum network, but you can add new networks on it as well. For example, you can add the Binance Smart Chain network, you can add Phantom network, uh, AVAX network, which is Avalanche network and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also add cryptocurrencies to your MetaMask wallet. We'll be showing that as well. Then uh, there is transfers. So how to transfer cryptocurrencies between MetaMask wallets and uh, how to use uh, dApps, which is decentralized applications uh, with it as well. So we'll be covering all of these five steps in this particular video. So watch this video till the end because all of these steps are really crucial in uh, learning about Web3, in uh, getting into the metaverse and uh, yeah, we'll be talking about all of these things. So the first step is setting up the MetaMask wallet. So how do you do that? How do you install MetaMask wallet on your web browser? So there are a couple of ways uh, in which you can use MetaMask. One is on your uh, web browser itself. Second, if you're using your mobile phone, you have uh, the MetaMask app on uh, both iOS as well as Android. So you can use it over there as well. I'll be going with the web browser uh, method. So here I'll be searching for MetaMask wallet download and click on the first link which is metamask.io make sure this is the link uh, that you click and uh, after that just press on install metamask for brave uh, for you it might be chrome so yeah you can just press on install and it'll uh, basically be installed on your web browser now of course i've already installed it so yeah i won't be showing that so here as you can see it'll show up in the extensions section so let me just uh, open it up uh, to show you how it will look however you won't have all of these uh, other networks you won't have polygon avalanche bsc and so on and so forth uh, i'll just remove the bsc network for now and i'll show you how to add that network later on in this particular tutorial so uh, yeah this is how your metamask wallet will look like you can basically have your cryptocurrency stored over here so uh, let's actually uh, get into the second step which is adding new networks so how do you add new networks so for that uh, search for the particular network that you want to add here i want to add binance smart chain uh, network so chain network and then once you search for the uh, network's name just add in rpc uh, url this is what you need to do so first you will add the network's name and then you will search for rpc url so once you've done that uh, just go down and it'll be over there itself so here as you can see it's directly showing us for the metamask wallet itself and uh, this is what you need so mainnet is what you need um, the network name and everything you can set it all up so let me just click on uh, the ethereum network part and here there'll be a button for adding new networks so just click over there and it'll take you to a new tab and this is where you will be adding all the details so uh, these are all the details that you want to add first is you need to add network name as smart chain uh, of course i won't be just adding smart chain i'll be adding binance smart chain uh, in network name it's on you actually uh, whatever you want to name it um, so here is the rpc url and let me just add that and then there is chain id so this is the chain id and at this point i'm just you know copy pasting all of the details and adding them over to our metamask wallet so this is optional by the way currency symbol and uh, block explorer as well these two things are uh, optional once you have all the things set up now just press on save and your new network will be set up and uh, if you have any balances if you have anything on your wallet already then it will show up here as well so because we are doing it for the first time you might not have any balance and that is what uh, is showing over here i already have balance on my binance smart chain so that's why it's showing 0.14 uh, bnb the third step now comes over to adding crypto to your wallet so adding crypto to your metamask wallet so what we'll be doing is actually transferring our cryptocurrencies from binance or wazirx and then we'll transfer it over to our metamask wallet now in this particular video we'll only be using binance but you can do this with any centralized exchange uh, of your 
your choice it's the process is almost the same for everything so we'll go over to our binance.com uh, wallet just go over to fiat and spot so click over there and there you will find all of your cryptocurrencies listed over here so just click on withdraw and uh, once you click on withdraw just select the cryptocurrency make sure you're selecting the right one so we can uh, add ethereum over here um, or actually i'll show it to you on bnb so let me just show it to you on binance smart chain because that's the network that we've added right now so here i'll be copying my uh, wallet address let me just paste it so make sure you're selecting the right network uh, it should be BEP20 that's the network that we had selected Binance Smart Chain um, and then here we'll be adding the depo uh, withdraw amount so I'll just be withdrawing 0 0.2 uh, BNB and uh, yeah let's just click on withdraw so once you confirm it um, it should take around uh, two to five minutes for it to go through and you will receive it on your uh, metamask wallet so i already have cryptocurrencies on my wallet so 0 0.14 bnb i already have that so i won't be going through the entire process but uh, that is how you can transfer cryptocurrencies to your wallet so the third step is actually to transfer cryptocurrencies between your metamask wallets so uh, let's say i have this particular wallet over here open uh, it is 0 0.14 bnb uh, over here and i want to transfer say uh, 0 0.04 bnb from this wallet to this third wallet so how do i do that you can just press on send and transfer between my wallets i'll select the third wallet and uh, just enter the amount of bnb that you want to send uh, i'll send 0 0.04 and uh, press on next and it should go through in about a minute or two so uh, once that goes through uh, it will show in the activity as um, done so let me just wait for that and yeah as you can see it has gone through my balance is reduced from 0 0.14 to 0 0.1 and the third wallet has um, now gotten the bnb in its uh, metamask wallet so as you can see this is how it all goes through and uh, that's how you transfer cryptocurrencies between your metamask wallets now the fifth step is actually the most important and the most uh, widely used thing that you'd be doing with your metamask wallet which is using dapps with metamask now what are dapps dapps are basically uh, decentralized applications that you see um, like pancakeswap uh, uniswap all of these are dapps so let me just go over to pancakeswap's uh, website so this is PancakeSwap's website and uh, here you can actually, you know, uh, trade cryptocurrencies, buy cryptocurrencies, you can do all sorts of things. So here what I'll be doing is actually buying cake with my BNB. So let me just show it to you. So once you connect your wallet, so press on connect wallet, there should be a button for that on every dApp. Um, and once you connect your wallet, it should go through, it should pop up in your uh, Metamask wallet as well that it is connected over here. And once it's connected, once you're on the right network, make sure you're on the right network. And once you've done that, uh, you can now select which uh, cryptocurrencies you want to swap. So here I've selected BNB and uh, on the next part, we have selected cake. So I want to transfer or I want to swap 0.04 BNB uh, to cake. Okay, so this is what I want and uh, I can press on swap and it should open up this particular notification on my metamask wallet so let me just confirm it and the transaction has been submitted and let me just add cake to my metamask wallet as well so add token and now i'll be able to see the balance of cake on my wallet directly so here if you go down you'll see uh, i have cake here with me which is 1.755 uh, cake so yeah that's how you add cryptocurrencies and that's how you connect with uh, different decentralized applications with your metamask wallet so if you like this video you might also like this particular video that i have made on how to make your own cryptocurrency from scratch so do check it out as well